Hey guys, what's up? Goldie58 here. Today we're going to talk about the Vivitar Creator Series. The video capture card is a HDMI to USB port that goes directly into your computer and any streaming software that you use like XSplit Broadcaster or OBS can pick this up and then you can use it to stream. Now, there are other options that you can use to like stream to your computer and also stream uh, show on your TV at the same time, which is by using uh, HDMI splitter and use one to go um, port over to the computer and one to port over to your TV and you can play just like you normally would with any other capture cards available like the uh, Gato and the Aver Media Aver Capture device and etc. So what we're going to do is that we're going to start using with the uh, OBS and we're going to stream our Nintendo Switch console which is what we which is what I'm going to be using and it's pretty much the only console that I have available with me anyway so what you're going to do is that once you have your devices it comes with a USB to type C dongle as well that if your computer or laptop supports any type C you can also use that and plug in your Vivitar capture device onto that so first thing we're going to do is that once you get that set up and then you're going to plug it into your computer once you have that plugged into your computer, then you're going to plug in your HDMI cord into your device. And then also make sure that you also plug it into your console as well of your choice. Like I said, I'm using the Nintendo Switch, so hope you follow along with me. Now, once we're on the computer here, what we're going to do, we're on OBS right now. Of course, you see my little RuneScape background with the logo and stuff like that. I like RuneScape. Uh, what we're going to do is that down here into the scenes at the far left bottom corner is that you're going to click on the plus and then you're going to add your uh, scene. Of course, if you got anything that you probably don't, if you don't want to make a scene, of course, you can do it with the sources as well. So this scene here, we're going to name it as Nintendo Switch or any other name that you choose. Uh, since I got one, I put it as two, so we're going to separate it don't get it confused with both of them. Now, once we got that set up, we're going to go over here to the sources and we're going to add our source. The source we're going to add is the video capture device. Now, with the video capture device, you can name it anything that you want. In this case, we're going to name it Vivitar. Um, like I said, any name that you want to choose, it's up to you. Hit OK, and then this is going to pop up. Now, as you can see, that the devices right here, of course, is already set, uh, set up as USB video. Now, what we're going to do is make sure we click on that. And then down here, in our um, resolution type, it may not show up, but it should show up like a little error TV or whatever somebody is. So, we're going to go to customs. We're going to go down here to uh, resolution. Now, the default resolution for this is actually a 720 or a 1080p 30. Now, the 720 does a 60 FPS, while the 1080p does a 30 FPS. So, right now, we're going to do a 720. We're going to match it with a uh, match output or a 60 if you want to. Hit OK. And it should show up. Not sure why. Maybe I'm doing something wrong here. Let's see, configure video. Nope, it's not that. Uh, yeah. Nope, it is not that at all. Am I doing this right? Well, maybe because that's why. Because that one is already up and stuff like that. But it should work on this one. Did I do this right? USB video. Deactivate. Okay. Resolution FPS type default. Maybe it don't. Okay, where well it shows up on here. Okay, here's my uh, webcam, but well, that's not going to show up because the other one's popping up right now. OBS virtual webcam, USB. See, that pops up right there. Oh, maybe because the screen resolution up here is actually way up here, so we're going to fix that. That's why. So we're going to pull this. Uh, I say pull this down. You know what? Tell you, tell you what, we're going to do this. Right click on this, and then we're going to go here to. Where is it? We're looking for transform. Once we hit the transform, then go to fit to screen. Now the whole entire screen is fit. So not sure why it still don't show up, but uh, it does work. Tell you what, we're gonna go to here because it's already set up like that anyway. 
So we're just gonna remove this, but this is the way how we're gonna set it up. Uh, matter of fact, I just do this. We're just gonna remove this scene, and we're gonna remove this scene. Now, of course, master duel. Now, we're gonna hit plus, we're gonna add the scene. We're gonna hit this, we're gonna hit video capture device. Once we hit video capture device, the USB video pops up and that pops up. So everything should be working as it should be. Uh, device default resolution and stuff like that. You actually change the custom, and then you could choose one of the two resolutions, which is the 10, the 1280 to 720p or 1920 to 1080p. Remember the 12, uh, the 720p is the uh, 60 FPS, which you use, or 30 FPS if you want. All right. So if you really want the 60 FPS, you go to FPS and change to 60. That's where you could get get the full um, full graphics of it. Of course, that even though that you had this set to 720, if you still want to record a 1080p video on your YouTube or any other device, any other place that you want, you go here to settings. Once you go to settings, then you go to video. Go to video, then you go right there. You're gonna say base canvas resolution is 1920 1080, which is the width of this whole canvas, and the output is gonna be the output of your video. You probably ain't gonna notice it, but it will output the video as a 1080p. Uh, common FPS is that you can set it to 60, which is going to bypass the USB video itself of the frame per second. So that's where you don't have to worry about the FPS uh, being at 30, uh, 30 FPS if you want to and stuff like that. So once we've got that set up, then now we are connected to the Nintendo Switch. Of course, that is not on yet because the thing is, this is showing. So once all that, you, once you see all that, you turn on your Nintendo Switch or gaming device, and then once you turn that on, that pops up, and now you're ready to game. So of course you hit that, and you might not hear no sound right now, but then if you see down below where it says video capture device, is that it is picking up the sound, and of course I'm moving around right now, so you can see that it's picking up the sound as we speak. Uh, but if you want to want to try to listen to the sound over your computer and stuff like that, you're going to go down here to properties and you're going to um, see if I remember this correctly about this audio output. Um, no, no, I think we do this advanced audio. We're going to do a video capture. We're going to do monitor and output. Now, once we start moving, we'll be able to hear it as you can hear it right now. So now we're ready to game. We move around, go on here, select your games and stuff. Now, if you now while I'm playing this, this literally has like very to very little to no latency of lag at all. Like because when I press the button, it instantly moves into whatever direction I move to. So I mean, you pretty much could play this game on your computer if you want to. So you pretty much have like a, a mobile gaming style, but on your PC instead of a TV. You don't have to worry about waiting for a TV to play your game and stuff like that. You play it on your computer using the um, software of your choice. And just so you can see that I will start playing the game for you while we load one of the games up. So we're going to show you. Alright. So... Tell you what, we're gonna go to. Um, tell you what, let's do a little bit of Minecraft. How about that? Now, I don't really use OBS because I don't know if you ever noticed, but the audio for mine, maybe it's not for y'all, maybe that maybe it's not affecting y'all, but for me, it always has like a little delay. Like the play, gameplay is going, but then the sound is follow up behind it later later afterwards by milliseconds. I don't know why you popping up, but I'm not worried about that. So yeah, it's, um, let's see. So yeah, see, I got a little delay on my audio right now, which is why I use OBS, not OBS, XSplit Broadcaster. So. What we're gonna do is just gonna go ahead and select one of these stages here. Just because. Yeah, but my audio is 
kind of laggy a little bit and of course that music is a bit loud so you can adjust the audio down here to the video capture just by turning this down and then everything should be good for you to like stream and all the other good stuff appearance is taken what okay well we're here and um Yikes! Okay, so yeah, there you have it. We have a full gameplay of this here. Um, I guess since the update, I had a huge wall around here. What happened to my wall? Yeah, I think the update had a great effect on this, but yeah, I had a huge entire wall up here. I don't know what happened, but I'm not going to worry about it since I'll be playing mostly the PC version of Minecraft. But yeah, you can see the gameplay right here, right now. Um, the way how I'm playing is actually instant. And it sounds like my audio is actually going right back to sync. Let's see. Uh, not, not really. Uh, it's still a little laggy though for me. But everything else is actually pretty good. And the way how OBS works is that it just like this, like I said, that you use it for streaming and just recording whatever you like and there you have it. So I use XSplit Broadcaster because it's better for me and the audio never lags on me at all on that. So, but I hope you all enjoyed this video and hopefully this helps out to understand about how this video capture card here works. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.